from Miami-Dade, Broward, and the Keys. This is South Florida's CBS 4 News. This is CBS 4 News tonight, coming to you live from Loomis Park on South Beach for special coverage of Super Bowl 44. We are just two days away from the big game, and thousands of people are celebrating right here on South Beach. Good evening. Welcome to South Beach. You're watching CBS 4 News tonight in HD. I'm Shannon Horry. And I'm Antonio Mora. We're live on Ocean Drive and 10th Street, right across from the Clevelander and right in the middle of this massive party. The crowds are starting to get very thick, despite the fact that we had some problems with the weather. Some strong storms roll through South Florida tonight. This is video shot here in South Beach within the past few hours. The storms even sparked two tornado warnings. CBS 4 Chief Meteorologist Dave Bernardi is also out here with us, and he joins us now. David, there have been watches and warnings all night. What's the latest? Hey, things are getting a lot better across the area. In fact, let's go right to real-time Doppler 4, and uh, we'll show you exactly what's going on. We're going to kind of start out on the wide view. You can see the biggest storms have now pushed out into the Atlantic, but there's still some rain out there. Let's start in by focusing on Broward and Dade right now. Uh, notice in northwest Miami-Dade around Medley, Hialeah, Miami Lakes, we have a patch of showers there. A few light showers moving through northern Broward. Uh, looks like crossing the turnpike now south and east of Coral Springs. And then down to the south and west of that, there's another broken line of showers that's east of Miccosukee right now, extending south into the Everglades of uh, Miami-Dade and right into the upper reaches of the Florida Bay. This next little line of showers will begin pushing across uh, coastal Miami-Dade and the beaches within the next half hour to 45 minutes. But it looks like it's getting a little bit weaker as it moves along. Nevertheless, a little bit more rain is on the way. Big picture tonight shows we've had some rough weather across the state. In fact, we had a lot of showers and thunderstorms and even some wind damage in central Florida this evening. But notice just about all of that is pushed off to the east, and that means improving weather is on the way. So here's what we're expecting now for the rest of the overnight hours. The showers fade out, clearing and breezy tomorrow morning, and a pleasant breeze with lower humidity tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be gorgeous with a high temperature of 78. But colder weather is arriving for tomorrow night. I'll let you know what it means for the big game and the rest of your weekend. All of that live from South Beach in just a few minutes. All right, David, thanks. Now to a CBS4 item investigation into a very bizarre accident. A piece of a plane fell out of the sky, landing in a mall's parking lot. The falling part slammed into the ground at Miami International Mall in Doral. That's just a few miles to the west of the Miami International Airport. CBS 4's David Sutta has more on what happened and also discovered how common this kind of accident is, David. Planes fly over Miami International Mall all day long. Today, though, outside Macy's, part of a plane made a crash landing. And we started to receive phone calls that there was aircraft parts raining down in our city. Doral's police and chief feared the worst. That hunk of metal belongs to the wing of a 747. Minutes later, we learned the plane, an Atlas Air cargo plane, landed safely at Miami International. And I'm saying one of these days, like I say, what? It's going to be the crash or something, you know, something will happen. And look, this right here. Call it luck. The flap happened to land in an empty stretch of the parking lot. And it's good that it was clear. There were no cars around here. If it was over there, a lot of people park and the dealer. It will probably kill someone. Surprisingly, plane parts falling from the sky has killed dozens of people. In a CBS4 I-Team investigation, we dug up the reports. Since 1982, there have been 53 incidents of parts falling off of 747 planes. 51 people have died. Wow, could have been me. And to make matters worse, Atlas has had plane parts fall off their planes before. Five of their 747s have had incidents in 20 years, including this 1997 emergency landing at Miami International Airport, where a wing panel flew off and was never found. It turns out that nearly a quarter of all incidents involving 747s involve parts falling off a plane. Now, Atlas did release a statement saying they are grateful that no one was hurt and they are cooperating in the FAA's investigation. From Doral, David Sutter, CBS 4 News, tonight. Former Dallas Cowboy and University of Miami star Michael Irvin is firing back after a lawsuit by a woman who claims Irvin raped her. Today, Irvin filed a $100 million lawsuit seeking damage to his reputation. The suit was filed after Irvin got even more bad news. ESPN took him off his radio show. ESPN's move came a day after the woman filed suit, claiming the Hall of Famer raped her at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel in 2007. Some former players who know Irvin say they are surprised and they think there could be another side to the story.
Bottom line is you, you always got to be careful. You always got to you know look behind your back. And um, once you become a, a celebrity and or a star, you know definitely you're going to be a target. Irvin's attorney says the woman waited 15 days to report the alleged rape to police. The woman's attorney would only comment to say she passed a polygraph test. The mayor of Homestead is being investigated for allegations of battery tonight. Mayor Steve Bateman is accused of battery against an unnamed victim at his house in Homestead. Miami-Dade Police's Public Corruption Unit is conducting this investigation. Bateman was not arrested. New tonight at 11, Broward Sheriff's deputies could soon stop patrolling Pompano Beach because of money. BSO deputies and employees went door to door in Pompano today. They are urging residents to tell their commissioners they like the job BSO is doing. Pompano Beach's city manager is recommending the commission get rid of BSO and create its own police force to save city money. Broward Sheriff Al Lamberti says the change would put hundreds of BSO employees out of work. Well, it's 319 people that get laid off. Uh, about 250 deputies are going to lose their jobs. The Pompano Beach City Commission will discuss the issue on Tuesday night. Now, back to our coverage of the showdown in South Florida. Let's take a live look over South Beach. Ocean Drive is packed once again now that the rain has cleared out of here. Hello, everyone. <laughs> well, we saw many more families and children here earlier, and now, though, it looks like it's uh, time for the grown-ups to play. It's not really a safe place for the kids anymore, I don't it's think. It's getting a little <laughs> rowdy out here, yeah. Well, a lot of list of celebrities took a break from the Super Bowl parties, though, to lend a helping hand to Haiti. Thousands of people packed American Airlines Arena to see them do it, and CBS 4's George Estevez is live outside the AAA with more on this benefit concert held here. George, this was quite a show. Yeah, you know what? This was the place to be tonight, and while we're live outside the AAA, and we're probably the only ones here right now because everyone's heading home. It was pretty impressive. So many celebrities, you guys, took the stage. They sang. They pled for help for Haiti. But it was a former president that really stole the show. No matter what you do, White Life kicked off the benefit concert at the AAA with a heartfelt performance backed by an entire Haitian choir. Mary J. Blige did her rendition of U2's One, a song fitting for an evening when so many stars focused on one thing. I want to say I'm extremely proud to be standing up here today. The concert was hosted by P. It's Diddy, Queen Latifah, so and Pharrell Williams, and also served as a telethon where celebrities took calls from donors and images of the devastation were shown for millions to see around the world. It's a cause close to home for the Estefans, who also participated. They're amazing people. They're uh, very resilient. They're hardworking. And, uh, they're a big part of who we are, our identity now in South Florida. Future, and Congressman sure Kendrick Meek, who has little Haiti in his district. It's going to take a lot of love. It's going to take a lot of their talent. It's going to take a lot of their influence to get so many other people involved in this effort. The Haitian people have earned my respect and my love. With celebrity presenters like Serena Williams, the event brought That's all kinds here, of stars you. together you right here in South Florida, including former President Bill picture. Clinton. Those people deserve our help. They can have a better future. Oh, R&B sensation Robin Thicke, accompanied by India Ari, got their smooth vocals together to complete a night full of music and heart for the victims in Haiti. And really the best part about this concert tonight, so many of us, so many people here in South Florida went and attended this concert. One woman actually came up to me and said, I can't believe the president was here asking for help from my country. It just proves that helping Haiti really is forever. We're live outside the AAA. George Estevez, CBS 4 News. Great to see that, George. Thanks. And some tough NFL players showed their softer side tonight. What a voice, huh? Tommy Harris of the Chicago Bears and Michael Gaines from the Cleveland Browns warmed up the crowd at tonight's Super Bowl gospel celebration in downtown Miami. And here's the rest of the NFL players, all-star choir, gearing up for a performance. Some of the biggest names in gospel music also sang at the event. The show was at the James L. Knight Center. One of the biggest Super Bowl bashes to hit Broward County is happening tomorrow. The band OAR and the Bare Naked Ladies will headline a free concert tomorrow at 4 on Fort Lauderdale Beach. Also tomorrow, Winona Judd will be on the early show, bright and early at Loomis Park for a free concert. Come on down here. 
or you can watch it on TV. And by the way, she is supposed to make a huge announcement on the air tomorrow. The early show gets started at 8 a.m. And we were out here, we heard we're rehearsing earlier. Yeah. She sounds great. It's going to be a she terrific did. show. So where are all the stars? Right now, they're hitting one of the hottest parties in South Florida. That party is happening at the Fontainebleau. CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo is there live. Lisa, that's the place to be tonight. It is the place to be, guys. Just come over here, Manny, and let's show them. This is just the valet area where people are checking in for the next party here. Hundreds of people lining up in this party, trying to get into the hottest ticket in town. Let's take a look. We just moments ago took you inside the tent. It is a 25,000 square foot pink tent with hundreds of people going inside that are gonna drink and party the night away. We've actually hit a couple of parties tonight. We're gonna start with a quick interview we got with a star that is on a hit TV show, and then we're coming back here to this party to show you everybody we just talked to moments ago on the red carpet. Take a look. I am very excited to be here. It's, a, it's humid, it's hot, it's fun, I mean, it's a great game. I can't wait to see it. And David Cassidy's daughter? Yes, I, I am. That. Your dad, I mean, we grew up watching him. Is that cool? I, 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 it's so funny, people ask that, and it's like, is it cool? I don't really know, that's just like all I know. You, you know? know, it's kind of normal to me. And, and ready I'm to, really excited. And ready to party here at the Super Bowl, are you having fun? I am, I'm having a blast. I just got in this afternoon, I'm from here, so it's so nice to be home and see my friends and family. Sure. Is it fun to be here in South Florida, though, for Super Bowl? It's tough for a jet. I mean, there's a lot of Dolphins fans, but that's all right. You know, it's a good rivalry for us. But, um, you know, it's, it's fun. We're, we're excited for uh, for the NFL, for all the players, and to get down here and see each other in the offseason like this is good. I'm a Dolphin fan, but I'm a jet fan tonight meeting you. Thank you Thank so you much. much. That's good great. To you. you too. Okay. Okay, I know I'm gonna get so much heat for that. I am a Dolphin fan, but come on, I'm a sucker for a cute face. He was adorable. The red carpet is happening now behind me. The stars are arriving there to the right. The pink 25,000 square foot tent is here. It is the next party. It is happening. It will go to the night, all to the very end of the night. I hear 5 a.m. Adam Sandler is expected to attend. Neo and Carrie Hilson are performing. Super Bowl parties are wearing us out, but hey, guess what? South Florida, it's not raining. Live on South Beach, I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS 4 News tonight. The best assignment out there. <laughs> I know, having fun, attending all the parties, and here is another bash tonight. Uh, this one close to our home base here on Ocean Drive. CBS is hosting a party at the Lowe's Hotel on Miami Beach. The outdoor beach party attracted even more celebrity power, and CIS's Los, Angel CIS Los Angeles star, LL Cool J, spoke to us about what he looks forward to during the Super Bowl. My favorite part about the Super Bowl is watching a guy who played Little League ball run across the field with his helmet in his air and, uh, and prove to kids everywhere that dreams are possible. Well, this party going on right now, but this one is invite only. And let's show you the place to be on Sunday. Chopper 4 was over Sun Life Stadium today while crews were finishing up their preparations. The NFL and Super Bowl logos are on the field already. And back here on South Beach, the crowd huge. The crowds have been huge. And we want to show you something. So, yeah. These are this championship towels that the winning team will receive. As you can see, two of them have been made. They are not selling these yet because, of course, they don't know who the winner M is maybe going we should to ask, be. Maybe we should ask the crowd what they, who, they're, who they're going for. Yeah, who do you All guys right, think so is going to win? Holt! <laughs> Looks like it's a pretty uh, pretty well divided bunch out there. But this is what's really neat about these towels. They're going to be sold after we know obviously who the winning team is, but then the other ones will be donated to charity, the losing team. So And they're very nice cool. towels. Yeah, very nice towels. So here's a look uh, again at Ocean Drive and 10th Street. We've got thousands of people who have been coming and going all day long of all ages, sizes, sizes shapes, colors, you name it. Everybody's been out here today. <laughs> and the parties are just getting started. And speaking of parties, CBS 4 sports anchor Kimbo Camper is live at the NFL party in Hollywood with a look at what's coming up in sports. Hi, Kim. Where's your tux tonight? Uh, I'm doing all right. I was here with the uh, Weston Diplomat where the NFL alumni held their awards party. I'll tell you who won some of the awards. And we'll hear from Commissioner Roger Goodell coming up a little later in sports. 
Also tonight, the big blizzard barreling down on the East Coast, and the problems this storm system could pose here. Also, can math help predict terrorist activity? I spoke with a local researcher who hopes his math models can save lives and win wars. Hear how next. And what do you get when you mix a burglar with an axe and an ATM? Surprise ending to this coming up. You are watching CBS 4 News tonight live from Loomis Park on South Beach covering Super Bowl 44. We'll be right back. Tonight, Dave's all new with Jack Hanna's animals. Ow! No, no, he bit me. Plus, the top 10 things you don't want to hear from your coach before the Super Bowl. All new tonight. Do what you want to do. I want to shatter the glass ceiling. I want to build a business. C E O. Take control of your future at the Heisinger School of Business Open House, Wednesday, February 24th at Nova Southeastern University. Get details at nova.edu slash business. Take a look at paid celebrity endorsements for Dish Network and DirecTV. Last year, DirecTV paid for Peyton Manning, Kim Basinger, Dennis Leary, Tom Arnold, The Black Eyed Peas, Charlie Sheen, Beyonce, David Spade, LL Cool J, Christina Aguilera, and Hellboy. While Dish Network didn't have any. Maybe that's why, on average, DirecTV customers spend over $175 a year more than Dish Network customers. Dish Network. Lower price, no paid endorsements, better value. Why would you ever pay more for TV? It's the sports car that's in tune whatever you're into. The 2010 Mitsubishi Lancer Sportback, the newest member of the award-winning Lancer family. Right now, get 0% financing or $1,000 off on the Lancer that's right for you. We are back live here at Loomis Park on South Beach covering and celebrating Super Bowl 44. It's just two days away. We're surrounded by Colts and Saint fans. They are everywhere up here on Ocean Drive. We are broadcasting from Ocean and 10th Street. And this is really the heart of the action right now. But a short time ago, people went looking for cover from the rain. We will have more on that from Chief Meteorologist David Bernard a little later. But now an important story out of South Florida. We have all seen how terrorist attacks by insurgents have been the scourge of U.S. forces abroad. Over the past few decades, bombings have killed thousands of our young men and women in conflicts around the world. But what if we could predict the timing and the strength of the attacks? Researchers at the University of Miami think math might hold the answer. Once you know the pattern, you can crack the code. In the CBS show Numbers, a genius professor uses mathematics to help the FBI predict and prevent criminal behavior. At the University of Miami, they're trying to use math to predict and prevent terrorism. It started really listening to the news. What Dr. Neil Johnson heard were numbers. There was an especially brutal attack today in Baghdad. At least 54 people were killed, more than 100 others wounded. Numbers that showed people being killed in insurgent wars around the world. We started to wonder if there was anything behind these numbers. Was it just like a roll of a dice? Or was there actually something kind of systematic behind it? Having lived in Colombia, he started by charting insurgent violence there. Then gathered data about almost 60,000 attacks in nine conflicts around the world. All the wars that we looked at that were insurgent wars have this same pattern. The same pattern as Iraq, the same pattern as Colombia. This to us is remarkable. That stunning identical pattern showed the frequency of attacks and their intensity was virtually the same everywhere. We can show that the number of events, for example, with 10 people killed is 320 times more likely than the number of events with 100 people killed. And that's the same in Colombia, Iraq, Afghanistan, Northern Ireland. In war after war, his graphs confirmed a statistical shocker. They have exactly the same slope. It's almost like all the ski slopes across the world suddenly had the same gradient, the same slope. There are so many variables. The strength of the insurgency, whether there's been an attack against insurgents that has killed a lot of them. How do you factor those in? Here's the underlying mystery. How is it possible across all these different insurgent wars that they have this common pattern precisely 
they have all these different variables. Is it that the, somehow the variables are adding together in a way that makes them less important than we might imagine? Johnson believes the answer, in part, is that different people fight insurgent wars in the same way because they have the same motivations. Terrorism, by definition, wants to create terror. The way that gets created is through media attention. Is that one of the essential elements in your study? We believe that at the heart of the kind of timing of events, it very much lies the desire by an insurgent or terrorist group to obtain media attention. He hopes this understanding of human behavior expressed in his math models will help save lives and win wars. The next step, we can look at how we might be able to change the outcome, change the, change the future behavior. What, what would it take? Does it take a doubling of the number of forces? Does it take the same number of forces but rearranging how they behave? Dr. Johnson also says they have found global terrorism follows the same patterns as insurgent wars. And while it may be impossible to predict the exact timing of a terrorist attack, the hope is that the mathematical models could one day help the Department of Global of, of Homeland Security, excuse me, to better assess the risk of terrorism here and better prepare for it. It's fascinating. And, it really and I'm sure there's much more to come of this. We this will follow just, it and uh, see how it, how it they, they, there's been interest from the Defense Department and right. other, the military apparently is mirroring these models. So there, there will be more to come, I'm sure. Well, some dangerous winter weather tonight in the mid-Atlantic states. In fact, in Washington, D.C., you could barely make out the skyline through the heavy snowfall. Forecasters say the D.C. metro area can expect up to two and a half feet of snow. Flights are expected to be canceled or delayed. So if you're flying anywhere, be sure to call ahead. David Bernard joins us now. David, we had our own weather problems here. Yeah, we did. Even a couple of tornado warnings that were briefly issued for Northern Dade in southeastern Broward County. But all that weather has now passed off to the east. In fact, here's a look at real time Doppler for tonight. Uh, the biggest storms well out in the Atlantic now. A closer inspection in Broward and Miami Dade uh, show that just those light showers now scooting across the area. We might see a sprinkle here on South Beach uh, in the next few minutes, but it's not going to amount to all that much. And you can see there further into South Dade some light showers around Pinecrest, Kendall, Dadeland, and also the Gables. Otherwise, it's pretty quiet. Well, we did see a little bit of rain with these storms. In fact, our live weather bug network is indicating seven tenths of an inch in Pembroke Pines, over half of an inch in Miramar, and lighter amounts in Fountain Blue and Richmond Heights in South Dade. And look at some of the wind gusts today. 43 with the storms in Deerfield Beach and Opelok at the airport had a wind gust today to 35. So the fast moving storms, they're heading out this evening, and that means the cold front is going to be on the way. That is going to mean a beautiful day for tomorrow. We're going to have lower humidity and a lot more sun, and it's going to be dry. We'll say clearing skies nice and breezy. What about Super Bowl Sunday? It's going to be a little bit cooler than tomorrow, but it's going to be super sunny. Uh, we should see gorgeous weather, but it'll be chilly at night. Really perfect football weather. And into early next week, expect a little bit of a clearing trend, or I should say a warming trend, with cool mornings still sticking around. So here's the forecast in detail for tonight. A better weather ahead, showers fade, mostly nice, a low of 66. And then for tomorrow, should see plenty of sun, maybe a few clouds in the morning. And we'll look for high temperatures tomorrow around 77. And again, lower humidity. West winds on the water, 15 to 25. We've got a small craft advisory up to six feet in the Gulf Stream and the Bay a moderate chop. Here's a recap of the weekend, upper 70s tomorrow, but only near 70 on Sunday, so it'll be coolish, but it should feel really good with all the sunshine out there. And then a little bit of a warming trend into next week, maybe a stray shower showing up on Wednesday. But uh, other than that, it looks like we've got some great weather ahead after just a few showers that we saw tonight. Stay with us, CBS 4 News, live from South Beach, coming back right after this. The freshest garden vegetables, rich seasonings, hearty beef, and delicate seafood. At Tony Roma's, these luscious ingredients come together, and what happens is magic. Like our grilled mahi-mahi with roasted artichoke hearts, feta cheese, and tomatoes. Rustic braised and grilled beef short ribs finished with a Cabernet demi-glace. And filet medallions with the refined flavor of an aged balsamic vinegar and Dijon mustard sauce. Whatever your taste, the good stuff you love is authentic Roma's. Comcast offers great entertainment whenever you want it. Now we're offering even more. Sign up for Comcast Digital Preferred TV for just $39.99 a month for six months. Get access to thousands of on-demand titles each month. 
Plus with any room on demand. Start an on-demand show in one room, finish it in another. Digital Preferred TV. Now just $39.99 a month for six months. Or step up to our HD Triple Play and find out how you can get up to $200 cash back. Call 1-800-COMCAST. At Mount Sinai Heart Institute, we provide the most options for patient care, and we've partnered with Columbia University. The goal of this partnership is to create the best care system for patients with cardiac disease in the United States. We've been advancing minimally invasive techniques in order to give our patients the best results possible. We expect to share technology and expertise to improve patient care. And that's really what it's all about, taking care of the patient. The Department of the Treasury Office of Thrift Supervision has directed that as of February 22nd, lenders should no longer offer no payment, no interest financing. So Rooms to Go, the company that defined honest furniture financing, is giving you one last chance to take advantage. Now until February 15th, President's Day, get unbeatable Rooms to Go savings. No money down, no interest, no payments until January 2012. That's first payment January 2012. Now through President's Day at Rooms to Go, don't miss this last opportunity. We've got a new one for the dumb criminal file. Check out this guy, he tried to rob an ATM. Look at the surveillance video. He entered a bakery on Bird Road and 87th Avenue early this morning, covering his face with a towel. He hacks at the ATM with a pickaxe over and over and over again. He injures himself in the process, and then he actually stops to wipe up the blood with the towel. After all that, he came up empty-handed. The would-be burglar got away, but he left a big mess behind. Very courteous, I guess, wiping up the blood. Next in sports, Kimbo Camper is live in Hollywood as some of the NFL's elite take time out to party. And while the Colts and the Saints continue their preps on the field for Super Bowl 44, that is coming up right after the break. More miles for your money and get a brand new 2010 Hyundai Accent from just $10,995. Or at least a new 2010 Elantra from just $179 a month. Hurry to Bill Settles Hyundai, Northwest 36th Street and 32nd Avenue, Miami. Title Fade. Don't miss Fair's 11-hour sale. This Saturday, for 11 hours only, Fair's will offer the biggest store-wide savings of the season. Pay no interest for one year. 24-hour delivery. Fair's 11-hour sale. This Saturday, don't miss it. It's the One Price Tire Sale. From Tire Kingdom. Buy any size Cooper GLS Passenger Car Tire. Pay just $69.99. Any size Cooper GLS 60,000 mile radio. Just $69.99. Also, $80 back by mail on select sets of Goodyear tires. $80 back. That's not all. Oil changes only $15.99. One Price Any Size Tires. $80 back on select Goodyears. And $15.99 oil changes. Only at Tire Kingdom. Get ready for some serious fun. It's the Jiffy Lou Marlins Fan Fest. Saturday, February 13th from noon to 6. Come select your seat for the 2010 season and be here to see your Marlins against rivals like the Mets, Phillies, and Cubs. Individual game tickets go on sale for the first time. Get pictures and autographs with players and coaches. Meet Billy the Marlin, the Mermaids, and the Manatees. There's plenty of free fun on the field with interactive games, music, and more. The Jiffy Lou Marlins Fan Fest. Serious fun. Get in on it. Record up to four shows at once on a single DVR? It's possible with AT&T Uverse. Now get up to $300 back via promotion cards. Get more miles for your money. And lease a hot new 2010 Kia Soul or Kia Forte from just $159 a month. Plus get the all-new totally redesigned 2011 Sorento. And Bill Settle Kia, Northwest 36th Street and 32nd Avenue. Seidel Saves. Look at sports, and Kim Bocamper has been a very busy guy. And Kim is up in Hollywood. It started raining down here. We hope it's drier there, Kim. 
Uh, we're inside where it's nice and dry, and you know, it's hard to believe that in 48 hours we will have a Super Bowl champion. But as for now, well, all the preparations are done. Now all that's left for the Colts and Saints is to get a little rest over the next couple of days and then wrap their minds around what will be the biggest game of their careers. Now the New Orleans Saints wrapped up their week work today with a final workout on the University of Miami campus. All that's left is a brief walkthrough on Saturday. The Colts went through the same routine up in Davie. Now both teams will work out at Sun Life Stadium tomorrow, site of the big game. Later in the day, Commissioner Roger Goodell held his uh, annual State of the League address to tell us exactly what's going on with the league. Sunday will be the 10th time that Miami will play host to Super Sunday, and who knows, with good weather and a little luck, the Lombardi Trophy could soon be making a return visit. It is a competitive process, as I've stated before. Uh, you've got some great cities out there who want to host this event, and I think South Florida did itself very proud this week, and I hope they'll, uh, they'll continue to pursue these Super Bowls because we'd love to be back here. All right, remember to stay right here for all your Super Bowl coverage. We're going to get started Sunday morning at 7 a.m. Then we've got a special pregame show at 11. Then we finish things up with Sports Trap after the game. We'll have all the player reaction. It's all right here on CBS4, your Super Bowl station. Well, the NFL alumni held their party tonight right here at the Western Diplomat Hotel, honoring the player of the year, Hall of Famer Barry Sanders, among the guests. Plenty of players past and present on hand for the festivities, including Minnesota Viking defensive end Jared Allen, who would rather be getting ready for the big game, I am sure. But just to give you a little hint on the awards, the Quarterback of the Year award went to the New Orleans Saints' Drew Brees. The Coach of the Year award went to New Orleans Saints' Sean Payton. I don't know if that says anything about what will happen on Sunday, but we'll just have to wait and find out. That's going to do it from here at the Weston Diplomat Hotel in Hollywood. I'm Kimbo Camper. Certainly good news for the Saints, Kim. Thanks. <laughs> here are tonight's winning lottery numbers. CBS 4 News tonight. They'll be right back. My boyfriend has one. I'm my girlfriend. My older sister. She has two kids. My college roommate who lives up north. My mom. My mom. Uh, my neighbors. Our neighbors. My daughter. My daughter. We were in the same class in elementary school. My boyfriend. My parents. Our parents. My, my lovely wife. And my husband has one. Yeah, as well as a fellow I work with. My girlfriend, she moved out east. I'm a city girl. Everybody knows somebody who loves a Honda. Who do you know? up to four shows at once on a single DVR? It's possible with AT&T Uverse. Now get up to $300 back via promotion cards. Will your son get his wish? Will he have a good life? Will he graduate? Find success? Fall in love? Will he become a father and you a grandfather? To find out, schedule a heart screening at Broward Health, home to a hospital ranked in the top 10% nationally for cardiac care. The screening is free, and it could keep you in the picture for years to come. Sign up at BrowardHeartbeat.com. The world-famous Harlem Globetrotters Our greatest trick is bringing families together. Playing American Airlines Arena on Sunday, February 28th at 4 p.m. Okay, so every truck is trying to spin, bend, and slice the stats their way. They're claiming the best this, the highest that, the most of something else. Look, here's the most important stat of all. For the 33rd straight year, more people put their hard-earned money on a Ford pickup than any other truck. Ford F-150. Ford Super Duty. Best-selling for 33 years. Drive the truck leader, the Ford F-150, now with 0% financing or $4,000 cash back. Visit your South Florida Ford dealers. CBS4 invites you to Brand Smart USA on Big Game Sunday to sample Dunkin' Donuts hot and iced coffee and game day themed donuts. Stop by Brand Smart USA in North Miami at Northwest 167th Street in the Palmetto Expressway. Enjoy from Brand Smart USA, Dunkin' Donuts, and CBS4. 
Before we say goodnight, we want to let you know we have a regular newscast at 6 and 11 tomorrow. From here, plus we'll be bringing you specials at noon and 7 live from Loomis Park with reporters fanned out across South Florida. On uh, Sunday, the entire gang will be live from Sunlight Stadium for Super Bowl 44. Look for our specials at 7 a.m., 11 a.m., and again after Undercover Boss, which premieres right after the Super Bowl. So I don't think we're going to need the umbrellas tomorrow, which is good, but we may need a jacket. It's wet out here now. <laughs> Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow.